I'm going to pick on this young lady right here. Hi, just stay right there. How you doing with me being about this far away from you while I talk? You pretty good? How about if I walk right over here and I stand right here? How's that? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right? Okay. How about if I put my hands around your throat? How if I tackle you to the ground, <laughs> won't let go of you, <laughs> nobody can get up and help you, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to get violent. <laughs> You're going to get violent. <laughs> what, would you hurt me? Uh, maybe. Well, <laughs> maybe, or you would? I probably would. You probably would. All right, so I'm going to come back over here <laughs> where it's safer. What is your name? Lisa. Lisa. Now, how did I take sweet Lisa, turn her into a homicidal maniac? How did that happen? It happened because I threatened her self-control. Each measure that I took to limit her self-control creates this panic response within her. She begins to fear for her life. She begins to survive this encounter. And so now she... Prior to that little exercise, probably not one time fantasized about hurting me. <laughs> and she spoke it out. She, she told me, I'm going to hurt you. What would you do if I tackle you to the ground? Get violent. Bang. Why? To, to hurt me? Is that the goal? Is she trying to hurt me? No. She wants her freedom back. She needs to be free again. So she will hurt me to get her freedom back. People are designed to be free in relationships. They must experience freedom around us. And we have to remember that children are people. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> They're people. And so each and every time we, sh we show them this this, this idea that one of us has all the control and the other has no control. I could squash you like a bug. I could bite your head off in a second because I'm big and I'm powerful and you're not. Every time we exercise that option as parents, we trigger a panic response. We bring out the absolute worst in our kids because there's this thing that's been planted in your brain called your amygdala. And your amygdala is this little gland that juices up. And when it juices up, you are preparing yourself to survive. You are going to defend yourself. You are going to create distance from whatever's going on. You are now beginning to insulate yourself against harm. And when the practices of our relationship juice up your amygdala, you are going to show me your worst. Lisa was about to show me the worst Lisa she brought tonight. <laughs> and it happened in three easy steps. Because I presented one of her greatest fears, and that is the fear of being controlled. If we don't understand that about our kids, if we don't understand that about human relationships, if we don't practice something other than intimidating, dominating, manipulating threats of punishment to get our way with our kids, with each other, in our marriages, then we really don't understand why we're getting the worst. Why do I bring out the worst in you? Why do you bring out the worst in me? Because I am afraid. I feel threatened. I feel controlled. I'm afraid of being punished. That reality, that lifestyle, that dynamic is, is why we have homes with so-called rebellious teenagers. When a child, when a, when, a, when a person who is 11, 12, and older finally says to the parent, I have had enough 
of you scaring me. I'm all done with your Wicked Witch of the North routine. I'm all done with your Tyrannosaurus Rex thing. I'm all done with that. So, you want to fight? You want a problem? You want, so you want your amygdala jacked up? <laughs> Bring it on! And the day that shows up in our relationship with our teenager, we call that rebellion. Well, that would be like saying that Lisa was rebelling against me. <laughs> she wasn't rebelling against me. She, she was getting free from my control. She was giving me the worst her she's got. But do you remember the stimulus package? It was me. I'm the one that drew that to the surface in her. And if I as a parent don't own the fact that I set you up to give me your worst and then I punish your worst, I'm just reinforcing more fear. I'm just, we're just cultivating anxiety in our relationship.